Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to record your vocals in Studio One. This is essential if you want to make songs with lyrics and vocals on them, which is like most songs if you're not just putting out instrumentals. So if you wanna record a song, this video is gonna help you do exactly that, okay? Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, marketing, and online business. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here, okay? Now, let's get straight into this. Now, I do have my spotify ready vocal mixing template up right about now which does come with all my mixing inserts and whatnot and all my effects and and that sort of stuff and reverb and and everything that gets my vocals sounding really really nice so i'll show you a quick example of how that works now this is going to be tuned in probably the wrong key to this beat so don't worry about that but you're gonna hear how smooth and how clear this comes out, okay? So let me play that back, but I'm gonna turn down the beat so you can actually hear the vocals. Going to be tuned in probably the wrong key to this beat, so don't worry about that, but... So that's with my delay and reverb and all that sort of stuff, okay? But that, if I was to teach you how to mix vocals, that would be a completely different video that would be completely longer. If you wanna grab this template, I'll link it down below in the description, or you can go to jcarterray.com forward slash vocal templates and grab the Studio One template. Or if you use an FL Studio, you can grab that version or whatever DAW might happen to make a template for. So let's move forward let's just create a new song completely from scratch and i'll show you how to set up recording okay so let's name this studio one tutorial recording touch recording that's probably easier so here's a fresh studio one uh session it's got nothing here so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an audio track now this will be the track for our beat track and then we'll, all, we'll add another audio track which will be a vocal recording okay and now with this we basically want to change our input to input in one because we're going to be using a microphone which is mono okay this is a mono road microphone when you're recording vocals you want to record in mono so that's why i've clicked this little button over here with these circles when it's got two circles that means it's in stereo when it's got one circle that means it's in mono we want our vocal audio to be in mono and we want only one input to be there now with this input it really depends on where you have put your mic in your audio interface. Now I've got an audio interface with two inserts. There's one on the left and there's one on the right. I'm using the one on the left. So as you can see, my input is the one on the left. And, and if, if I, I hit that monitor button, you heard my vocals coming through, right? Like, la, 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 la. <laughs> there's my vocals coming through. So if I was to press this record button now, um, and I'll turn off the monitoring so we don't get that feedback. But if I was to want to record it, what I would press personally is I'd use the shortcut keys for recording, which is the star on the number pad on the right hand side of your keyboard. And if you want to bring your playhead, this thing back to the beginning of your song, you'd press the dot in the number pad, which is down at the bottom. My one says delete on it as well, but let's press the dot, that brings it all the way back there. And let's press start and it will start recording, okay? Now, personally, I don't record like this. I, I've i already made a video on how to set up layers and all that sort of stuff, but I'm just gonna quickly go through that here so I can set up all the recording how I like it. Now, I'd come down here and put on pre-roll so that I've got time to actually get into the recording and I also go to view, I'll go to record paddle, panel, and I'll go to takes to layers and record takes, okay? Although we're not gonna be recording any instruments, so I guess that probably doesn't matter. But what will happen now is when we record, we'll actually get different takes, okay? Now, this didn't seem to pre-roll, so I've got to 
check that out. Is it? Do I need to put this on? Well, go on for that. Start, we'll actually get different. Start. We'll actually get that pre-roll. The reason why I didn't pre-roll is because I was I was all the way at the beginning. You can't really get a pre-roll before the beat, I guess, or before the session even starts. So that's how that works. <laughs> but. As you can see, if I want to record now, if I hit that record Start. button, we'll actually get it starts further back so that I've got time to actually get into it. Okay. So as you can see, I've recorded some vocals, right? Remember, you can also just press the record button down here. Although I generally do not because it's just easier to remember the key shortcut so that you can easily record new takes as quick as possible okay this is from the future i'm gonna admit i did forget to add this but i do need to show you the actual settings behind the recording so let's get into that right now so in studio one you'll need to come and click up here where it says studio one and go to options okay the audio device you want to choose is whatever audio device you're using and i'm using an audio box so that's what i will generally use or studio usb actually because that is the new one that i believe i'm using these days so that's what i choose and here with the samples with studio one they're actually very good with this you actually don't really need to change these samples um, you won't really get a lot of delay if you leave this at the max samples because i believe they've got a feature that when you're recording it automatically goes to a low sample rate and you need a low sample rate around 128 so that you don't have a lot of delay when you're recording so if you do find yourself having delay when you're recording then you can come in here come to audio setup and change this to 128 samples that's generally where you want it to be for recording and for mixing you want this to be at the highest sample rate so as you can see it's at 2048 the only reason i was using the fl studio um audio device is because when i'm recording the audio doesn't come through the actual recorder unless i'm using the fl studio recording device so that's what that is about and with the release audio device in background what this does is basically when you click off studio one if you've got this selected it will stop using your audio device so you can then use that with other platforms other programs and all that sort of stuff now if we was to click on the control panel it will bring up our installed control panel for the studio usb where we could then change the samples and all that sort of stuff but this is the basics and that's pretty much all you really need to know you shouldn't ever really need to go into processing or anything like that once you know the sample rate and you pick your correct audio device you're pretty much good to go you can click ok and everything will be sweet now i highly suggest you grab my vocal mixing template so you get your vocals sounding pretty nice without having to get super in depth and learn how to mix your vocals now of course it's very good to learn how to mix your vocals and i will be making tutorials on that down the road let me know if you want that in the comment section down below but that vocal mixing template will save you a lot of time in trial and error in learning how to mix your vocals and doing all that sort of stuff and it will just make it easier for you to jump in and start recording a song like how i do for every song that i create i just open up my template jump in start recording it and at the end when i need to mix it i'll change some levels i'll maybe add a new effect or, or whatnot to to add some more spice to the to the song depending on what kind of effects i want but mostly i'm just using the template so that makes things a whole lot easier remember link in the description or go to jcarray.com forward slash vocal templates okay in this video i'm not going to show you exactly how to mix your vocals but i do want to show you how to bring up the mixer so let's find the mixer where is the mixer <laughs> console here we go it's called a console in here i guess so this is our little mixer and here we can add inserts like eq and, and all that sort of stuff to edit our actual mixer or edit our actual vocals to get it to sound a little bit better but if i want to move this to my other screen which is how i like to record my stuff and how i like to mix you go press this detach button and this allows me to move this from screen to screen but if you don't want it detached then you can always not detach it or 
press this button right back there and have everything on one screen so that you can clearly mix your vocals. But the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is EQ. And I think I've done a video on the basics of EQ in your vocals, so definitely check that out. And we're gonna do more videos on compression and mixing your vocals in general very, very soon. So stick around for that, subscribe, check out the rest of the content on the channel and keep your eyes open. And let me know in the comment section if you really want that. The more people that say, hey, I really want this, the more I'll know this is something I need to focus on and something I need to do. So make sure you comment down below, like the video, all that sort of great stuff, okay? Since you've made it to the end of this video, I also got a free gift for you. Obviously, you wanna learn how to record your song, so you probably want some beats, right? Now, I'm gonna give you five of my best R&B trap beats for absolutely free. All you need to do is go to jcarteray.com forward slash free beats or click on the link in the description. These five free beats also come with five of my my basic licenses. Now, these basic licenses generally cost $29.95 on my store. So you're getting over a hundred dollars of free beats here. And with these licenses, you can monetize your music, make money from your music, upload it to Spotify and streaming platforms and all that sort of stuff and start making money from your music career and putting your music out there and getting it out into the, the marketplace basically and getting it on those streaming platforms and all that sort of stuff, which is very, very important. So definitely grab that before it goes away. And my question of the day is, what kind of song are you recording and what's it about? Let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you've just, you wasn't even recording vocals, you've just come on this video to learn how to record in general. Let me know what else you were recording in the comment section down below, okay? Now, if you've got any other tutorials or any other questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. Peace out.